Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. We've got about five and a half hours till the end of the day, and it's day eight. And already we have pretty much everything we need to do done for the day. Almost. All the side quests, all three of them, are finished. Or at least they seem to be. They all have the little note that says they're finished. The three star things. The main quest isn't quite done, but we can't actually do the main quest until later in the day. The, the mother superior, or Taya, the little girl who's controlling the termitary and the abattoir, controlling the butchers. Because I helped her, she will grant me passage into the abattoir. Which should open apparently soon after dark, which I think she said was a half hour before midnight. But perhaps it'll open sooner, I'm not sure. So we just have to wait until nightfall to do anything with that. And in the meantime, what I want to do is go visit Aspidy. Because the whole Panacea Black Market quest, supposedly, or not, I shouldn't say supposedly, this is a fact at this point, Little Vlad gave the Panacea that he bought up to Mark Immortel at the theater, and then Mark Immortel distributed it to Yulia, Lara, and a third anonymous person. And I've already spoken with Lara, and I've already spoken with Yulia, and they both told me that they did receive the Panacea, and they wanted me to come back tomorrow to talk more about it. And the third person, which I have not spoken with, I'm pretty sure is Aspidy. Pretty sure she wanted to remain anonymous, because she didn't want people to know that she was taking something from the Olgimskis, since she has a long feud with the Olgimskis. So I want to go talk with her, even though the quest is done, I just want to know if there's something there to do. And I feel like I should talk to little Vlad too, because I haven't... I haven't asked him to confront the fact that I learned that he is the one who knew about the infection starting in the termitary. He's the one that covered it up. I haven't confronted him with that fact, so I should go do that after speaking with Aspidy. And also, I need food pretty badly. So let's leave the termitary here and see if we can go take care of all of that and then come back and go inside of the abattoir, which I'm very curious to do and also very scared. I really don't know what I'm going to find, but I'm scared. It's probably not going to be pleasant, whatever it is. You know, is this the entrance that the mother is going to open? Is this the main entrance to the abattoir? It probably is. I was thinking this is the main entrance, but maybe it's actually this, because this hole here is right next to the termitary, and... Well, it, it, is, it is closer to where this little hand symbol is that talks about the entrance. So it probably actually is that right there. I can't remember if I checked these places for food. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, throw bottles at me, asshole. You better clean up those glass yards. Children might step on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've checked in here for food. Yeah. Pretty sure I checked the other store for food, too. Hmm. to Aspidy. I guess I'll check the store along the way, but I'm pretty sure I've already checked it. Not sure where I'm actually going to get food from. I can't remember where I've checked and where I haven't. <laughs> Nothing. That's right, that's right. This is the day where a lot of stores just don't have any food. is the day the army arrives.
Okay, yes, buddy. Are you the third person? He who distrusts himself is better off silent. Well, if she is, I can't talk to her about it. I'm just going to call that quest done. Since the quest log seems to think it's done. So, fine. I'll mark it as done, too. In that case, let's go talk to young Vlad. Again, I don't think any, re any quest requires it, but I do want to do it anyway. Um... What else? I guess other than that, just trade with children and try to find food. Yeah. Go see little Vlad and then trade with children and try to find food while we wait for nightfall. And then we can go inside of the abattoir. I do really need to trade. I think I've only got two Meridorm left. That's what I need the most. Meridorm. It is 7 p.m. I suppose I could always trade with the guards for food, but I'm pretty sure that's really expensive. Costs five. Yeah, I could trade all of my razors and all of my combustible fluids for one piece of dried meat. Is that worth it? I don't think so. Pretty sure everything from the guards is a lot more expensive. You know, I haven't spoken with Bad Grief in a while. Let's just check in. You know, see what he's up to. Gotta go all the way around. Also, Reuben, too. Oh, he's not here. Did he leave anything behind? Oh god. Is Bad Grief sick? Oh no. This person is sick. No, don't blame yourself, it's not your fault. Shit. Can't they be helped? Uh, okay, so this is just the same dialogue as Aspidy had. Can I offer? Okay, yeah, so I can offer. So I can offer them the panacea. The panacea that I wanted to test. Or rather, that Barack wanted me to test out. Young Barack. Hmm. Should I test it on bad grief? What if it doesn't work? What if it kills him? Should I save it for somebody perhaps more important? I mean, no offense to bad grief, but... What if someone else, like one of the canes, falls sick? Hmm... I don't need to talk to Bad Grief. No, I need, I need to test out this medicine. I need to see if this thing works. And if I wait, he'll probably die. So stop barking, Beakhead. Here, I have a panacea. Let me in. I'll cure them. Give it to me. It is I who brings them back. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Doing better now. Anyone says ill that sleeps well. Wait, what is this? Wait, look at him. Ain't he tall? Ain't he vested in emergency powers? I haven't come here to talk. Know what I mean? Oh, okay. Just goes to the store. So, nothing to talk about then. Uh, yeah, nothing I want to buy. Okay. Well, I saved him. Also, there's a plague right out there. Much better. Oh, there's a passageway through here. This is way easier than going all the way around. I didn't realize you can go through right here. Good to know. Alright, little Vlad. Baby Vlad. God, I need food. Like, super, super duper 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 bad. Changeling knows something. Or she was promised something. So this is the person who's responsible for turning the termitary into a mass grave. Who told you that? Hmm. I'm not going to give her up. That's not important. What's important is whether I'm going to relay that to the Inquisitor. No use denying it now. I knew that the truth would come out when the termitary is unlocked. I just hoped I would have time before that. No such luck, I suppose. So you did your best to conceal this, huh? Perhaps you know more about the plague than you show either. What with this well of yours? I did indeed hide a certain crime I've committed, and I believe that something nasty was indeed dug up and bred deadly bacteria. The only snag here is that those two insightful observations are not connected in any fashion. So you knew that the bacteria originates underground, and you never told me. I didn't know anything for sure. Moreover, I found nothing to support that theory. The earth in the well is clean, and the deeper I dig, the cleaner and denser it becomes. Pure sand and solid white clay. Really? Because when I got a tiny peek down there, it sure seemed awfully red to me. Red and bloody. But why didn't you tell me of your suspicions? Because if my theory proved to be correct, we would have had no choice but to raise the town's residential districts, wipe out everything between the abattoir and the Gorkon. Why in the world? Over the years, the people have bored countless holes into the ground. All for naught. They always hit a layer of compacted clay. The town is full of those dead-end burrows. Those underground creep holes. Who would ever believe that they all came to solid rock? Like a prisoner's tunnel comes to a brick wall. That's not a good enough reason to give that order. I can't peek inside your head, now can I? Perhaps you wouldn't issue that order. But the general who's arriving here with his forces tomorrow, wouldn't listen to your mumbling that it's nothing more than a theory. He'd just do it. Hmm. So he's saying that he doesn't want the military to know about it because he thinks they would overreact and just start burning everything. Which I don't blame him for thinking. I would prefer the military doesn't know about this either. I don't exactly trust militaries to make 
calm, considered decisions. Perhaps you're not far from the truth. Can you swear to me that there was nothing in the will on your family's honor? <laughs> like the family has any honor. Yes, you can have a sample and analyze it if you will. A sample of sand and clay. If it's necessary, I can even call my people and have them dig it up again. But honestly, you're going to need a deeper hole than that. No need for that. How, how can I get into the abattoir? That's a weird question to ask, because I already know how. Uh, I just have to wait. And I think I know how to find one. Ooh. The image has changed. Uh, but what changed? What changed? I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what it looked like before. I know this is the same. I'm not sure about these roots underneath. I don't remember if those were there. And I'm not sure about the abattoir. I don't know if that was there. I think it's either the abattoir and or the roots. The holes. The veins or whatever those are. It's either one or both of those that's new. There's this thing that needs to be done. And let's also warn him about the termitary. One more time, I wish to prove to you that I'm your friend. Do not approach the termitary. If you do, they'll tear you to pieces. But why? <laughs> you know the answer perfectly well. Yes, I do. Who made the threat? Foreman Oyen. No. The daughter of Commandant Taichik. They call her the Mother Superior. Yes. Funnily enough, this is scarier than a full-scale riot. She's a formidable opponent. And then there's my sister's games. Thank you, Bachelor. What games? My sister's affection for me has been dwindling, and she's come up with all sorts of schemes concerning Tai Chi's little daughter. It seems the screw makes another turn. Oh, poor father. Was his sacrifice in vain? Hmm. We do know that Capella is friends with Taya. After all, she gave me the medicine to give to Taya. And Taya only took it because she trusted Capella. Otherwise, she wouldn't have taken the medicine. In any case, you've been warned. Changeling knows something. Okay. That is it. I am completely free until... Whoop. Always creeps me out when I zoom out all the way. Uh, I'm completely free to do whatever I want. All quests are done, except for the main one, which I have to wait for. It's about to be... Uh, it's about to be 8 p.m. I think nighttime is officially 9 p.m. I'm not sure if I can actually go inside the abattoir as soon as it's nighttime, or if I have to wait a half hour before midnight, which is what Taya told me. Not sure which. But in the meantime, we need food. And I want to look for children to trade with. Okay, so food. This place sells food. That place sells food. Don't know about these places. Let's go around looking for children and food. Then after a bit of time of that, we'll head over to the abattoir. And since we've got a bit of time, I'll check some bins. Child, come here. You precious, precious thing. I mean, sorry, you're not a thing. You're a person. Ammo. Um, I really don't need ammo. I really don't. I mean, for all I know, something horrible is going to happen that makes me need a lot of ammo in the future, but for now, I don't, and I want to save my money. Or, save my trade goods for Schmouders and Meridorm. Well, now that they're dead, they're going to start coming for me, so... Oh, God. Oh, dodged it. 
He was just throwing that knife. Yeah, let's go to the food place near Laura's. Child, come here. Oh my god, so many children. Wow, there's like three children here. Okay. Shit. Oh no, she's running. That's why I can't talk to her. Fuck. Do I need that? I don't remember. I've got Twyrin. I've got two Twyrin extract. I don't remember if I need that, but it's really cheap, so I guess I'll grab it. Children. Oh, bandage guy over there, too. Trade with me before they disappear. Um, more antibiotics. I uh, definitely don't need ammo. Do I want more antibiotics? I think I've got two of these. Um, no, I don't think I do. Yes, bandage. that. It's the little girl I really want to talk to. I think they're the ones that tend to have schmouter. But let's go see if we can scrounge up some food. Okay, how are my stats looking? Immunity is pretty good. Infection is low. Let's take the pills that I just got. Get my immunity a little bit higher. That's good. God, you have no food. Literally no food. Okay, I'm going to need to buy whatever I can find. Even if it's an egg or milk, I'm going to take it. Yeah, let's go to the other food store. Over here on the right. Looks like it's night time. Just about to be. Lights have turned on. I see some children over there, but I need food. Okay, I will take like literally anything. Fine, I will take a shitty egg. My god, that was a waste of money. Don't have a lot of choices here, though. I think I'm gonna have to start trading with the guards. I'm okay for the rest of the day, because there's not much time left in the day, but if I have to sleep, I'm gonna starve to death in my sleep. Shit. I guess it's time to start heading over to the termitary. Um... Are there any other food places that I have not explored? So I've checked this place, this place, this place, and this place. Are there any others? There's probably a food store somewhere around here. One of these is probably a food store, but I don't know which ones. Let's head over. Unless... Unless I want to trade with more children before nighttime. It's technically not nighttime yet, I think. I don't see any children, though. Let's go looking for food in the plague zone. Pretty sure this place here is a clothing store. What about any of these three? Any of these three food? Let's go check.
Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, something hit me. Fuck. I don't suppose you sell food? Nope, there's some trade goods. Morphine. That stuff is amazing. Watch is worth it. Can I fit all of it? Apparently I can. I've got plenty of coffee. I don't need that. Don't need twi Ryan. How's my inventory space? I've still got one extra slot in other. That's good. You're back. Yeah. I've not spoken oh, with you in a long I time. I would have let my fists loose if not for these pins. I don't even know what that means. Ah, my infection's still not too bad. Okay. Um, food. Food, food, food. Forwards and to the right. Forwards and... Oh, God. Almost hit that. That place is medicine. So this place is medicine. I don't know about this spot or this spot. It's nine o'clock. Yep, it is officially nighttime. Okay, this place is a store. Yes, what do they sell? What do they sell? Food! Food! Okay, I need to mentally mark this. This place sells food. Okay, so... So, confirm for food. 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 Fresh fish. You know what? I'll take it. I think that's enough that I could maybe sleep and not die in my sleep from hunger. Maybe. Okay. Um, any chances this place sells food? Seems unlikely. I doubt there's four food selling places in this district. Very unlikely. So let's just head straight for the abattoir, I guess. There's really nothing else to do other than look for food. There's no one to trade with now that it's nighttime. No children to trade with. Well, plus I'm in an infected zone anyway, so there's no children over here. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the abattoir. Please don't infect me. Oh, God. Holy shit, that was close. Oh. Let's ditch things by going in here. Okay. I think a playground is about to be on me. might be a problem, actually. Yeah, I think you gotta die. Not enough room to get around you. Shit! Bit in the ass by a plague rat, but that's fine. Oh man, my immunity is in the trash now. Let's 
ditch him in the termitary. Oh, God. Forgot, wrong door. Fuck me. Okay, let's take a breath. Infection. Moderate. Big issue right now is immunity and health. So let's max out our immunity basically by taking Twirine Extract. Let's take a bandage. Uh, hi. Personal space, please. Please respect it. Thanks. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. Now, again, it says... The central entrance to the abattoir will open soon after dark. It simply says soon after dark. Taya originally told me a half hour before midnight. Oh my god. That sound is horrifying. Let's see if it's open. No. Unless this is not actually the main entrance. Well, we won't have to wait around for long, that's for sure. It's almost 10 p.m. But yeah, Taya told me. She told me a half hour before midnight. So I don't know if I should literally just wait around. There's nothing else I can do around here. There's no food to get. There's nobody to trade with. It's infected, so I really don't want to move around this place too much. Every time I move, it increases my chance for infection. So... I think I'm just gonna hang out here. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. And I will be right back. Hmm? Just at 11 p.m. Just received a letter? Or was that my quest updating? The abattoir central entrance is open. I must hurry. Let's do it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's gonna be in here? I'm scared. I'm scared. Why are the butchers approaching me? Are they gonna try to kill me? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I don't even have to fight. Okay. Uh... I thought they are just knocking me unconscious, but... Who the hell are these people? Is this the military? It must be. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. That does it. I'm gonna break some. Total death toll 4,000. The town is dying. It all ends in less than four days. Mm, I'm suffocating. Day 9, in which the town is occupied, and the worried children ask for the bachelor's help for the first time ever. Well, as I've been told, apparently the children are our future. <laughs> like, literally. And I need to protect them. 
This is the town hall, isn't it? Yep, this is. What time is it? Oh my god. Oh my god, I've been knocked out for a long time. It's 2 p.m. on day 9 already. Jesus. I guess I owe you my life. We fought a just, defensive war, and now they want to turn us into a punitive expedition. Into Korsman. I'm glad that you made it, Bachelor Denkovsky. What were you doing in the abattoir? I was looking for you. Is that so? Ex-Governor Soparov told me where to look for you this night. I seek your advice. What have you discovered about the epidemic? Can it be stopped, and what can the army do to that end? Hmm. I never expected you to be so straightforward. I don't want to be an arrogant fool who listens to no one, courtesy of a big gun like the one I have on the sidelines near the station. You are an expert. I want to hear your expert take on the current state of affairs. The situation is out of my hands now. The Inquisitor is my enemy. Evidence mounts by the hour. I have no further desire to listen to my enemies. A dog should never trust a cat. Fire should never trust water. And I, a battlefield general, will not trust Inquisitors. But why? Do you have any idea how many traps Inquisitors spin into their webs? The truth will be beyond your wildest expectations. Well, I'm not a puppet. I suspect, however, that I have already been made into one. I suspect that even the words I'm uttering now are merely a part of her calculations. Hmm. I wouldn't say I trust Aglaya. But I think you're exaggerating. I feel a fighting man in you. Someone who thinks before he strikes. Someone who takes responsibility for his blows. Who chose a worthy opponent and is capable of vanquishing it. We are two warriors, and it is our task to deal with the evil threatening to spread across the whole country from here. I am doing my duty. No need to blow things out of proportion. You need to go back to the front. Tell me, Alexander. What are your intentions concerning the polyhedron? The terrible structure on the other side of the river? Terrible? Don't you like it? How does it even stand upright? <laughs> this music is so good. I love it. That's what I'm trying to find out at the moment. And what's inside? A thousand children, give or take. They are hiding from the infection. And who's looking after these children? They're managing perfectly well by themselves. Well, if they're managing perfectly well, less trouble for us. Do they never leave that thing? No. And let no one inside. Why did you bring the subject up? I wanted to ask two things of you. First, do not disturb them with your attention. Leave that to me. And second, should they try anything stupid? Such as? I don't know. If you hear strange sounds from that direction, or if they send messengers, anything. Just consult me first. I'm staying here until the end. Very well. You have my word. Thank you. That's it? Didn't he want my expert opinion? I didn't give him an expert opinion. As to what to do. Whose will was it that sent us to this plague-ridden hellhole? When need... Mm. Mm. I'm suffocating. I'm feverish. Whose will was it that sent us to this plague-ridden hellhole? When needed at the front line. So do I have a quest? No. Wow, this guy rescued me. And I've spoken with him. My arms are stiff. And he didn't 
give me anything to do. I'm really surprised. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do for this day. Um, I guess we do know. Yeah, Lara seems to have urgent business with me. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. They told me to come back the next day. Same with Yulia. Now Anna has urgent business to discuss too. Oh, so is Anna the third person? Because I was thinking originally that Anna was the third person that received the the panacea, but I went to speak with her and nothing popped up. No, no, there's no dialogue to talk about it. So I guess that's what I need to start doing for the day. I guess the main quest will probably flow from there. Alright, I think things are going to... Oh my god. Oh my god. I've got a million notes. God, I've been knocked unconscious for far too long. Holy shit. There's so much to do. So much to catch up on. Five notes to read. Three people, at least, to visit. Victor's invitation, Aglaia's invitation. I've guess, I guess I've got five places to go. Am I going to see military occupation on the street? Indeed I am. Alright, well, there's really no time to spare, because it is already about 2 p.m., But before I end this episode, I feel like once you've reached a new day, it just feels inappropriate to end an episode before you've seen the play. So let's go see the play. Oh, holy shit, you're scary. You must be a flame unit. Oh my god, it looks so silly. That costume looks so silly because you can see the eyes through the goggles, but in reality, the eyes are just painted onto the front of the goggles. It just looks like they've got painted on eyes. It looks so silly. Holy shit. Must be the military. Yep. Wait. No play? I just assumed there was a play. The Commander and the Inquisitor haven't had a meeting. A bad sign. There is great ability in knowing how to conceal one's ability. The Commander... It is sometimes necessary to play the fool, to avoid being deceived by cunning men. That's very true. If people think you're stupid but you're not, well... They'll probably underestimate you. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I am going to read the five letters that I've received. Go visit Laura, Yulia, Anna, Victor Kane, and Aglaia as well. And using, unfortunately, only about half the day that I have left, since so much time has already passed, I am going to try to see what I need to do for day nine.